fourth round in 84. And from day one, her opponents Forehand drills it. Deuce. But she does leave that side open. Whoa. Oh. Lindsay Davenport, what a way to start your Wimbledon debut by breaking. Oh, first time. And a big serve for 30-15. Mm. It's tough to find a grass court in California or in Florida for that matter. Deuce. Another big serve. She opted not to play Eastbourne. Okay, well denying a break point. I mean, there's past few weeks have been amazing. I mean, before Paris, I wasn't even sure if I was supposed to play Paris because I wasn't in the best of conditions and, you know, back hurting a little bit and I didn't play a lot of matches in, in the past few weeks before that. And and uh, what kept me really going was was really to, to get some match preparation to come here to Wimbledon. And then I win the French and now I'm here in the finals. I mean, I can't ask of anything else. Well, I think the injuries in the past really took its toll on her confidence. A determined woman. And you know, Dick, I saw a little bit of strain on her face yesterday. And then this is a woman, Lindsay Davenport, she knows is not intimidated by her. Ooh, like the it's a big surf by Lindsay Davenport. That's her weapon. Keep holding her serve in the first set, and the first set is hers. Oh. Lynn Club, her last was hard to believe it, nine years ago. Change that call. Replay the point, says Fiona Edwards, of Great Britain. Let's see if we can tell. It's hard to tell. It's because that chalks on the outside of the line, behind the line, also. Now Lindsay feels she deserves the point. Why didn't she hit it? That's her fault. If she had touched it, she didn't even take a swing at it. So why didn't she take a swing at it then? Well, if you don't have a play on the ball, she chooses not to play the ball. Then they it's usually my point. give you the point. I'm sorry. She would have hit the ball. That's it. So they're playing a let. I mean, there's no question they overruled the call to to end, but Lindsay's are. This woman matches her in big, you know, as far as dealing with pressure. 
Game well played by Davenport. Builds their lead to 4 2. In France, now the finals at Wimbledon. 15 of course, the title in the U.S. Until this year. Oh, Steffi's had some luck when it comes to the net courts. Boy, That's they've been on her side. Oh. Obviously, she feels very comfortable on the surface. Um, you know, I have to keep the ball deep, I think, most importantly, and not let her dictate the rallies. And I'm going to have to bend really low to get some of those backhands back and, and make a lot of first serves. And, and I think those are the three main keys. And so far, so good. Yeah, I mean, Portland, she's getting Davenport. some big first serves in there. I think that's helped her to hold her serve. Very rarely has any bad losses. And I think what helps her to maintain that consistency is she... But she likes it that way. She likes the low profile. Mm, there Oof. was a big time back in 40-15. MSNBCSports.com, the official website of NBC Sports. Well, she had, after that last game, Lindsay won. She had Steffi Groff at the baseline talking to herself. When she gets mad, she goes up to another level. And that shows great mobility there. And, and Oh, had a bad bounce. That ball flipped the line, and it's level. Oh, Lindsay took advantage of that net board. It slowed down Steffi's pace a little bit. Oh, on the center big line. serve under pressure. Lindsay's, we're talking about body language. It oh boy, but keep it to the backhand though. Oh, lower and lower. The opening set to Lindsay Davenport. 6 4. And Groff. On the line. Second after winning the first set. By winning the first set, Davenport. Oh, Lindsay comes up with a wonderful down the line. Steffi anticipates the ball sometimes flies. And the ace. So Davenport. Oh, oh Steffi almost got to that ball. Singles, doubles, and mix. Pulled out of the mix. With a 
40, 30-15. Her second. She... Oh, well, she missed a few of those that last service game. Point for her. And at that point, you just have to guess. And Lindsay I can't think about that now. No, nope, call Jeez. there. No call there, Steffi, for sure. Even Lindsay just started walking away. She thought the ball was out, too. Another close call, though. Steffi would be good just to play every ball at this point because they have had some questionable shots. But even Lindsay, look at her body language over there. She's Stroking from Davenport's end, it's 40 low. But she hits a heavy ball, a big ball, good placement. Oh, but that was a good time to come in. I mean, she's up 40. Pretty calm. She's seen her daughter in this situation so many times before. Boy, look at the bounce on that last serve. Cool. Key to her arrival at the finals. Oh, beautiful yeah, serving. Nice. Three big serves in a row when she was down 15-30. Has set for all. Okay, Miss Girl. Five, four. And it's important at this point for Lindsay not to think, wow. So close it is. stronger mentally as the match goes on. Oh! Lindsay Davenport has broken to take the lead 6-5. She will be serving for the Wimbledon title when we return. Almost with a nose on the finish line. Oh. Three points to victory, our third ace. Oh, they want a third set. 14, 15. Well, she's come up with some big serves. And two match points, two championship points. Match point. There it is. <laughs> Only the third American-born woman in 30 years to win Wimbledon, joining Chris Everett and Billie Jean King, Lindsay Davenport is Wimbledon champion.
as that ball from Groff landed in the net. It was almost as if someone shocked, sent an electrical shock through Davenport. She just stood there frozen. Steffi Groff, you have lived so gloriously on this court. I congratulate you for getting to this final after the French. Why did you lose, do you believe? Well, first of all, she played an exceptional game. I mean, she served extremely well. It was very difficult for me to read where she was serving to, and she was mixing up pretty well. And I just think I was a little flat today somehow. I'm, my back and sides didn't really work very well. I made quite a lot of unfair errors of it and couldn't take the chances when I had them, but it happens. Were you surprised how she got down to that slice? Yeah, but I, it didn't really have a lot of sting on it today. I mean, I really didn't really follow through with it, and uh, I don't know. I, I know I can I can slice better than I did today. I mean, I, I guess in the second set it was a little better, which is not good enough. Could you believe that you would face only two break points? You would offer those, and that would cost you the match. Only two break points. Yeah, but the, f the first game that I served, I think there was one first serve in there, or maybe the most two, and and uh, that's just giving her too many chances to attack my, my, my serve, and, and she returns very well, and she, she really took the chances, and, and that's what was the key today. Did the leg bother you? No, it's all right. Will we see you next year? I don't think so. You don't? I don't think so. Thank you, Steffi, a great queen. Well, here's Miss Firecracker. <laughs> Lindsay, congratulations. You had only two break point opportunities. Did you think you could win a match when you would only look at two break points? <laughs> yeah, it was such a such a weird match, especially also to hold the whole time against Steffi, who's a great returner, but um, took advantage of the first game and uh, the one break point and took advantage of the one at five all in the second. And um, that's what I needed to do and serve well, and those were the main issues. You come back after a rain delay. You get to set match point one and you plunk a very weak shot into the net. What is going on there? Well, why do you have to bring up the negatives? I served a great serve on the next one. but uh, No, I mean, obviously, it's a very uh, nerve-wracking experience trying to close out a match, but I was really grateful I was serving. And, um, you know, to, to, to win this, uh, I was more in shock than anything else, and uh, I really can't believe it. And uh, that's my second one, and uh, I'll be glad to go for another now. But you were Miss Twinkle Toes out there, the way you move. How were you getting down to that backhand slice so well? I don't know. It's such a tough court to try and get those back on. But um, I was really trying to bend low, trying to run some balls down. And, and, you know, she was playing pretty well a couple loose games, and, and that's how I was able to win. Steffi just told me that this is her last Wimbledon. What's your reaction? You know, I, I heard that, too, and I, I'm obviously extremely sad, and um, obviously this probably means this is her last year playing, and uh, that's really sad because she's um, the greatest player that um, has played, in, if, I don't know, forever possibly, and uh, to, to win Wimbledon beating her and Novotna is um, such a, an amazing feat, and, and I'll miss her because uh, I've had some great matches against her. What is the feeling? You come out here, center court, Cathedral of Tennis, and you look across the net and you see this all-time champion. Do your knees shake a little? You know, I was so excited to be out there. I mean, uh, my first Wimbledon, I remember walking out there and I, I thought to myself, well, I made it here and, uh, you know, let's let's see if I can do one more. And, um, you know, after I think the rain delay might have helped me. I calmed down actually a little bit and came back firing balls. And, um, you know, uh, who knows? It, it was my day, I guess, and I'm going to treasure it. Perfectly saved match on serve you weren't broken you didn't lose a set in the tournament but last monday you were down set points to barbara shett could you have been out of here <laughs> that's right i forgot about that one but um yeah you always if you lose one set you got to go on but um i fought my way through that match like i did a lot of matches here and um to, to not lose serve is, is an amazing thing in women's tennis i think and uh, i'll never forget that i did but that you're an amazing champion here she is shall we sing a chorus of yankee doodle dandy <laughs> fourth of july I well oh, 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 oh lindsay Davenport has won a dick. Thank you.